Hi and welcome back. I have been buying some fragrances Ooh. and I invited you over because you are also responsible for me buying more fragrances. I'm innocent. No, he's not. So we have some fragrances. Fair, <laughs> So we have some fragrances coming up from Burberry, we oh. have some from Polo, oh. YSL. Oh. So this is going to be fun because yes. you know some of these or yes. maybe all of them. Yes, uh, yes. Some are completely new to me, uh, but they are classics. Mm. So this is going to be fun and I would say mm. that let's just start. Let's do this. And we are starting with Polo Black mm. and you recommended me to buy this one. Yeah, I wanted you to try more from Polo. Yeah. So I'm going to read up the notes while you open up the package. So we have mango, sandalwood, wow. tangerine, patchouli, tonka bean, sage, wormwood and lemon. I mean, how often do you come across mango no, in a perfume? No, never often. ever. So fruity, green and sweet, mm. I guess. I hope and so. And a bit woody. And a bit woody. And since you already have tried this, I'm going to start. It's been some time okay, since I put it on. Okay, you can start. But Mmm, I'm getting nice whiffs of that one. It's actually surprisingly mm. good since I know this is a classic and it's been around for a while, but it really does feel like a modern and really great kind of fragrance for men. Very yeah. elegant, very dressed up, very, very versatile and definitely easy to like. Yeah, so I mean, this one to me is like sweet, fruity and woody, yes. uh, but it has some sort of a freshness at the top, which, has, yeah. which I absolutely love. So it doesn't blow me away like crazy, crazy, but it does smell really, really good. Yes, this is a wonderful fruity fragrance mm. for men and I think it's uh, amazing. Mm. And the next one up is Burberry Brit for him. Mm. And I'm excited about this one because I had my first fragrance from Burberry for women years ago mm. and I loved that one. Okay. And now I have gotten my nose on. Which one was that by the way? <sighs> That's the worst thing. I don't remember, ah, okay. but I love it. So okay. if I find it and smell it, I will recognize it straight away. Mm. Um, and Hero from Burberry is yeah. also a wonderful yeah. one. So if this is just half as good as Hero, I'm going to love it. Mm. So um, can you please... Did you say what the name was? Burberry Brit? Uh, I think so. Him. Burberry yeah. Brit for him. So the notes are ginger, cardamom, green mandarin, bergamot. Then we have wild rose, nutmeg, cedar, spicy note. And then at the base, tonka bean cedar, gray musk, woodsy okay. note, and patchouli. That sounds what amazing. Quite a blend. Yes, and I'm hoping that cardamom note is going to be prominent mm. because I love cardamom. So a lot of the Burberry fragrances are quite popular. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting to see if you enjoy it. Mm. This is really different from other kinds of men's fragrances. Mm. And I mean, the notes were quite busy and you can really feel how complex it yes. is when you put your nose to it. It's spicy, slightly spicy. It's creamy, it's balsamic, it's woody. It has so many different notes, like you said, but they are all kind of toned down into this beautiful, yeah. soft and inviting blend. Very elegant, very not in anyone's face, easy to like, definitely easy to use because yeah. this is so versatile. Yeah, definitely. I think this is a great one. Nice. And I'm surprised because this is also an oldie but a goldie, I yeah, think. Yeah, definitely. So from one Burberry to another, this is Burberry London. Please do open this bad boy yes. up. And we have cinnamon, lavender, bergamot, leather, mimosa. Oh my God. And then we have top bath. Top bath. Top bath. Tobacco leaf. Toba. Oh, coconut, my favorite. Oh, which coconut. Is, yeah. And then kayak wood and oak moss. So, I mean, the notes. Yes. What a blend. And we know from one in the Park collection that we both really do enjoy mimosa. Mimosa is cool. Yes. And I really enjoy how they blended that mimosa with the leather and all the other different notes in this one. Yeah. It's turning into something woody, spicy, creamy, slightly floral. Very elegant, very dressed up, very, once again, versatile and not heavy on any kind of note. Yeah, so what I think is cool about this one is that the blend overall reminds me of something else from some other brand, but with a twist. And I'm not yeah. sure if it's the tobacco, if it's the mimosa or that hint yeah. of leather or all of them together. But it's like something that has been done before, but with a twist. And I really like that twist. Yeah. This is a fantastic scent. So I really enjoy this one. And I feel that if you have this one on, 
most people will enjoy it on you. There's nothing in this one that is going to offend anyone. Mm -hmm. Most people will enjoy it on you, period. Yes. And I'm so excited about the next one yes. because we have a gentleman coming mm. up and I love all of the gentleman fragrances from Givenchy. She's and talking about me. No? What? Oh, you're talking about this bottle, yeah. right? okay. I My think, God, like yes. the whole world evolves around so, you. So I'm not a gentleman, yeah, okay, does. let's move on. <laughs> no, I like you too. Um, gentleman mm. edt so if you read us the notes Ooh. i'm gonna open this one up are you ready we have yes. pear oh my wow. we have cardamom pineapple iris lavender geranium leather black black black, black. vanilla husk <laughs> and patchouli and i mean come on the notes pear that sounds pineapple amazing. iris I, I, I can't just pyrus pear pyrus pineapple <laughs> so so yeah have you tried this before Yes, I have, but I can't remember how it smells like, but I did a review of the new Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé on my <laughs> channel, and I absolutely love that one. And I also tried the Gentleman Givenchy Intense EDT quite ah, recently, and okay. I believe you tried it as well. Oh, I did. And, yeah, you can't remember <laughs> it. And I really enjoyed that one as well. So this, one, this is going to be a lot of fun. This How do you feel about this one? a huge dose of pear and it is beautiful. I do miss that it's not as powdery as the other ones in the Gentleman line. Mm. But the pear in this one is so good. It would have been cool if they would have... I mean, I, I think this is a really, really, really nice one. Yes. And I think it's fruity in a fantastic way. Yes. But it's like you said, it would have been really interesting to... I gotta stop saying really. <laughs> Yeah, uh, really. To have them have it in a super powdery way yeah. and super fruity. Do you really mean that? I really mean that. <laughs> but I think this is a, a fantastic, fantastic scent and I enjoy it. Yes, this is wonderful. And now I'm even more impressed with the Gentleman line. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you um, opened my eyes to it because mm. before you brought a fragrance from them, I had never tried anything from Givenchy. Yes, and definitely. I, I think we need to do uh, like some some verses or like some walkthrough of that collection yeah, and all stuff like that. We really need to. And I'm also digging into the female section of mm. Givenchy and Irresistible for Women, the EDT of Fresh is wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, there will definitely be more Givenchy coming up. And I know that you are extra happy about the next one. Yes. And me too. Yes. And we have gotten our hands on the YSL Y E D T, the brand new one that they have, what I know, reformulated yeah. and released again. And it's supposed to be kind of like the previous, but better. Yeah, I hope so at least. Yeah. So, I mean, I was really confused, like, okay, what's going on? Is it a new one? But I do think it's like a, a, a bigger change to the formula. Yeah. Uh, so the notes are all the highs, bergamot, ginger, lavender, geranium, clary sage, and with, then we have olibanum, vanilla, cedar, and ambergris. Okay. Now, I could be wrong, but I can't remember the original formulation no. having vanilla in it. But I could uh, be wrong. Uh, look at the baby bottle. Oh, cute. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. But uh, when I but see that bottle, I want so the bigger one. Yeah, I know, I know you do, but... I also know that your collection is like hundreds of bottles. Yeah. And so. you are not using them all. I do know that there are a lot of haters mm. on what some people feel is like yet another flanker or boring or common formulations, common sense and all that. But the truth is this, mm. YSL does not put out bad fragrances. There are different levels of good and that's what you get when you buy a yes. YSL fragrance. Yes. But they simply, they want to aim at as many people as possible with a fantastic scent. So they want most people to like whatever they release and they want most people to like it on whomever buys it. To me this is a bit less fresh, it's a bit less sharp, not so heavy on the woody notes. It's kind of soft and intriguing. And the next one is a classic. Mm. It was first created in 1989. Whoa, that's an It is. Uh, no, I'm like born three years previous to that and mm. I'm not old. No, 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 you are young. Yes, I am. Yeah, and this is this is a youngster. This is a youngster. Yeah. <laughs> but this is actually one that I know that a lot of women and men mm. really do like. And I mean, it's been around since 89 and people still buy it. So it let's, has to be kind of good. Let's try it out. 
It's Jill Sanders' son. Ooh. So we have fruit. Oh my God. The list of notes. Are you ready? It's going to take 15 minutes. Oh my minutes. God. Do you have time? Take a coffee. Relax. <laughs> so we have fruit notes. African orange flower. Amalfi lemon. Palisander. Rosewood. Cassis. Bergamot. Ylang Ylang. Heliotrope. Carnation. Oris root. Rose. Lily of the valley. Oh my God. Vanilla. Benzoin. Amber. Tonka bean. Sandalwood. Styrax. Musk. Tobacco leaf and patchouli. I mean, it's a cheapie. Mm. It costs oh, almost nothing. Mm. I think this is a perfect one to put on when you are maybe coming right out of the shower or just going to be at home, have a cozy day. Put this on and it will make you feel clean, fresh, good and inviting. So my view on this one is that I do not feel that it's a bad one. No. It's not a bad fragrance. But this one definitely has a huge massive dose of old school in it yeah and that is going to be off-putting to a lot of people because this is not the kind of modern scent that most people are used to so i mean i'm not blown away by it i think it's it's an okay scent i don't do not think i would enjoy this one on someone else it doesn't mean that i feel it's something that smells bad because no it smells okay but I prefer other kinds of scents and this one is a bit too old school for me. And that's it for this time. Don't forget to follow both me and Rotten Rebel. Like this video, yes. give us a super thanks if you want yes. to. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.